Let's talk about the coronavirus. According to WebMD, you already have it. <laughs> now, every day, we learn more about how this virus is affecting the world. So let's check in on the latest coronavirus news in our ongoing segment, Is This How We Die? <laughs> Last week, we learned that coronavirus has been making its way through Europe, like a trust fund kid on a gap year. <laughs> and after throwing Italy into chaos, the next stop on the trip is Paris. Uh, big changes in France today. The number of cases there has nearly doubled to 100. Uh, the government there really taking some pretty extreme measures. The French government banned indoor public gatherings of more than 5,000 people. That led to the Louvre Museum shutting down. The health minister advising people not to kiss or shake hands when meeting, as President Macron did days ago with Italy's leader. Oh, come on, Macron! Are you serious? Italy's got corona, and you're kissing their prime minister? And it's not just one kiss, it's three. That's three chances to get sick. Yeah, you're just like healthy, mwah, healthy, mwah, dead, mwah. <laughs> and that's right. This situation is getting so serious that French people have been told not to kiss each other hello, which must be hard. That's like such an ingrained part of their culture. You know, it's like telling New Yorkers not to jack off on the subway. That's how we say <laughs> hello. But these protocols make sense, <laughs> right? Greeting people with physical contact is not a good idea right now. And black people are the only people who are really prepared for this, you know? Everyone else is, like, shaking hands with you, but black people, like, we have many different ways to greet each other. You know, we've got the distant head nod, you know? It's like that whole thing, <laughs> yeah? You know, you just... You, you look sick, stay over there, you know? <laughs> and even when black people shake hands, it's so complicated that by the end of it, the virus is like, yo, you lost me on the second... <laughs> I, I didn't... I didn't get that part. That... Yeah, you... you, you got me. I don't... I don't know what... I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> now, while France is only beginning to grapple with how to contain the outbreak, Korea is showing the world how it's done. Outside of China, South Korea has the most coronavirus cases. They've come up with a new innovative way to test for the virus in the form of a drive through This is a free service that the city of Gyeong is offering anybody. I just took the test, actually. Vehicles come through here, and you get a questionnaire, you get your hand sanitized, and then you go through a number of stations here. Damn, Korea is advanced. They've got drive-through testing? <laughs> and apparently, using this, they have screened more than 100,000 people for coronavirus, which is impressive, and probably the first time people going through a drive-through are getting healthier. <laughs> but also, why isn't America doing this? Right? This is the land of the drive-through. Yeah, drive through fast food, drive through banks, drive through liquor stores. I mean, when I'm in a rush, I go to a drive through therapist, you know? Just like, <laughs> stop being sad. Thank you, goodbye! <laughs> and look, whether it's drive throughs or something else, America needs to figure out how it's going to deal with this pandemic because it turns out not only is coronavirus here in the U.S., apparently it's been here for a while. Over the weekend, health officials announced new infections in Washington State, Oregon, California, Illinois, New York, Florida, and Rhode Island. A state of emergency issued in Washington State where 13 patients have been diagnosed with COVID-19. Researchers in Washington telling ABC News their analysis of samples of the virus strongly suggests it's been spreading in this state for the past six weeks. Yeah, that's right, people. There's a chance coronavirus has been in America for weeks and nobody realized it. Yeah. It's like at the end of a sports movie where the coach is like, guys, what you've been looking for has been right here all along. <laughs> See, the virus is in your lungs. <laughs> you shouldn't be playing basketball. You should be at the hospital. <laughs> but this is really scary. And so for more on this health crisis and America's response, we turn to our senior medical correspondent, Roy Wood Jr., everybody. <laughs> I gotta say, Roy, this virus has everyone so stressed out. I mean, I'm keeping this can of disinfectant around to spray on everything. What, what else can we do to stay safe? Stop, stop, stop with that. First of all, Trevor, don't panic. The most important thing to do is wash your hands. Just wash your hands. And don't rush. You gotta wash them for at least the length of one verse of a Cardi B song. <laughs> yeah, I wash their back, then wash their front, girl. I make healthy moves. <laughs> and another thing. Don't touch your face, because you can make yourself sick. And if you are sick, remember to stay... <coughs> 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 
stay at home. <laughs> what, what? Did you just corona cough in my face? No. Oh, cough in your face. Man, I just had some peanuts a minute ago. They stuck in my throat. Okay, I'm, cause I'm, I'm watching you, Roy. Don't, don't make me sick. I'm good, man. Come on. As I was saying, it's important not to panic. Check on your elderly neighbors. Make sure. There's no need for concern. What you need to... <laughs> <laughs> ah, Corona! Corona! It's Peter! It's Peter! Get out of here! Roy with Junior, everybody!